Okay, so this is the Junior Certificate Higher Level Maths paper uh, for 2022, question 3. Okay, so we have the coordinate uh, diagram below and it shows uh, part of the N22 road in Cork. Let's see, two points on the road P and Q are marked on the diagram. So we have these two here, this one here is minus 1, 3, this one here is 6, 2. The point Q has coordinate 6, 2, okay, so this is it here, you go out 6, go up 2. Right down the corner to point P. Okay, so that's fairly straightforward enough. You go out along the x-axis first, so it's minus 1 and then up 3. So it's minus 1, 3. Let's just put that in here. Minus 1, 3. Okay, so easy enough to start with. Let's move on to B then. Uh, the equation of the line PQ is x plus 7y is equal to 20. Using this or otherwise find the coordinates of the point where PQ crosses the y-axis. Okay, so this is the line PQ here, and we were given the equation x plus 7y is equal to 20 is the equation of this line. So all the way up along the y-axis here, you've got uh, points, and all of those points have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. Now, all the points up along the y-axis have an x-coordinate of 0. In other words, you're not going out the x-axis left or right, so you're at 0 on the x-axis but you're going up along the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, or whatever, minus 1, minus 2. So all the points on the y-axis have x-coordinate of 0. So we're going to use that to work out the work out the answer to this problem here. There are actually a couple of ways of doing it, but let's do it this way first. So we know that on the y-axis, on the y-axis, x is equal to 0. So if we take x plus 7y is equal to 20. All we've got to do is put in 0 for x and see what we get. So what we would get then is 0 plus 7y is equal to 20, or just 7y is equal to 20. So now we just got to divide by 7. So we have y is equal to 20 over 7. So the coordinates uh, of our y-intercept then are just going to be 0 and 20 over 7 for the y the y part of the coordinate. The other way that we can do this um, is by taking this here and changing it to look like y is equal to mx plus c. So let's just do that and see what we get. So it's x plus 7y is equal to 20. So it's x plus 7y is equal to 20. So if we just change that around, leave the y on this side, so 7y is equal to minus x plus 20, bring the x over in other words, and then all we've got to do is divide by 7. So we've got y is equal to minus, there's a 1 here if you like, minus 1. So it's minus 1 over 7x plus 20 over 7. Now if you look at this, this is in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So this is in the form y is equal to mx plus c. So the m here will give us the slope and the y-intercept is given by this number here, 20 over 7. And you can see that's what we got up here anyway. So that's fine. So we get the same answer. So the y-intercept is, so the y-intercept and the answer then, if you like, again, is 0 and 20 over 7 for the y-coordinate. The slope is minus 1 seventh, and we can see here, if we look at the line, the slope is negatively, it is, the line is negatively sloped sloping down here, it's sloping this way, which means it's ne it has a negative slope. This way would mean it would have a positive slope. Okay, so a couple of ways of doing that. Um, that's part B, so let's have a look at part C then. A new road is being built through the point 6, 2, and on the coordinate diagram, it will be a straight line segment which is perpendicular to PQ. Work out the equation of the new road. So in order to work out the equation of a road, well, it's a road in this particular case, but it's effectively a straight line, we use the formula y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. Now, in order to use this equation here, we need two things. We need a point, which we have. We've got 6, 2 up here. And we also need the slope. Now, we don't have the slope. However, we do have the slope of... PQ, PQ. So that's this equation up here. 
So the um, that's this line here, PQ. And we change that around until it looked like this here, y is equal to mx plus c. So we have the slope. The slope is minus one seventh. So <clears throat> the slope of PQ, the slope of PQ, that line there is minus one seventh, which means the slope of uh, a perpendicular line is we need to turn this upside down and change the sign. So it's going to be 7, the slope of our new line, which goes through Q. So our new line goes through, let's see if I can draw this. It'll look something like that. The other road goes on like this a little bit. But Q is there. So this is our new road here. It's not quite straight, but you get the idea. So let's put in what we have then. So we have Y minus Y1. So Y minus 2 is equal to M, which is 7, X minus 6. So that's our point that we were given initially up here. Okay, so it says, that's really our answer, but it says give your answer in the form. So you must go back and read the question again, make sure you write it the way they want you to write it. So let's just multiply all this out. So we've got y minus 2 is equal to 7x minus 6, 7 is 42. Uh, we want the x uh, and we want the y and we want the number on uh, on one side and the zero on the other side. So that's really it. 7x minus y minus 40 is equal to zero. So they wanted our answer then, if you like, is 7x minus y minus 40 equal to zero. That's the way they wanted it, I think. Give your answer in the form ax plus by plus c equal to zero. A, B, C are real numbers, and they are, so that's fine. Okay, so let's have a look at the next part then, which is part D. And let's see, the distance PQ on the diagram is 7.1 centimeters, correct to one decimal place. So if you measure it on the actual exam paper, you should measure it as 7.1 centimeters, correct to one decimal place. Five millimeters on the diagram represents 100 meters in reality. Use this to work out the actual distance from P to Q. Okay, so we know that five, five millimeters is equivalent to 100 meters in reality. Okay, so we're dealing with centimeters here. We've got uh, 7.1 centimeters here. So let's just change this to centimeters. So that means uh, 0 0.5 centimeters then is really equivalent to 100 meters. So 0.5 is centimeter, five millimeters is half a centimeter. Okay, so now we want, um, well, we, I mean, we could change this to one, if you like, one centimeter, or we could just work directly, but let's change it to one centimeter first. So one centimeter means that we've divided 0.5 by 0.5 to give us one, so divide the other side by 0.5 and we'll get 200. 100 divided by uh, a half is 200. Okay, so we actually want, we don't want one centimeter, we want 7.1 centimeters. So that's going to be equivalent to 200 multiplied by 7.1 meters. So if I just do that quickly on my calculator, 200 times 7.1, that'll give me 1420, 1420 meters. Okay, and that's our answer, but let's just read it again. Use this to work out the actual distance from P to Q. Give your answer, oh, we've got to give it in kilometers, so let's just convert this to kilometers, there are a thousand meters in a kilometer, so that would be 1.42 kilometers. And that's it for this particular question.